let me stop messing around. So today I'm going to be doing a review video comparing two drugstore concealers that have recently come out. So the first one will be the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade number 5 which is medium deep. And then the second one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel and this is not a new product but they have extended the shade range which is amazing but I still feel like they could do with more but they're slowly improving so I'm happy with that and I feel like I finally have my shade in this damn concealer finally I've put the brightness a bit down and brought you a bit closer so we can really see how these concealers are going to work so yeah let's just jump straight into it I'm going to use the collection lasting perfection one again I'm in a shade medium deep five on the super drug website it says that it's water resistant and transfer proof and it conceals imperfections and blemishes for up to 16 hours. I'm not going to try it on for that long. But yeah, let's just try it on. There's not much of a description on it. I remember I used to use a very light shade in this concealer. And, I f and they finally have like a darker shade. It's quite dark actually. Ooh, this is very dark. It's okay, I can make it work. Is it darker than my foundation? Let's blend this. Okay, so it blends like a dream. And I always say that, but it really does. Okay, so now let's go on to the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Again, I'm in the shade Caramel. I used to always use nude but that was way too light then i went on to honey but that's so neutral so now we got finally a warm nice warm one but i just hope it's not too dark okay so i'm just gonna twist the product up okay so i'm just applying this under my eyes it is more on the darker side compared to what i usually have i do have to say i absolutely love the applicator honestly like just listen to this I don't know about you, but I just find that sounds so satisfying. But anyways, I think that's all I have to put it. I'm just going to use the other side of my sponge, this clean side, and just blend this all out. Okay, I definitely prefer the shade of that one. Just blends so easily. I do feel like the collection one is lighter than, is darker than my actual foundation. So I'm just going to touch up this side. Here's just a quick close up of what it looks like. I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so my makeup is done. So I do really, really, really love the Maybelline one. Like, I definitely see myself use this, using this in a daily. And I'm actually going to put it in my makeup bag for every day. Um, I'm just so happy that I actually have a shade for me now. But the collection one, I would have to say that it's really dark. Like, it's darker than my foundation and it wasn't really highlighting. Um, but I do have to say the finish and the, the wear of this concealer is amazing because I used to have it in the past. They probably have improved the formula by now. Or I don't know, maybe not have even... They probably haven't even touched it, but the formula of this is really, really good. So if you do have a shade for yourself, then definitely give it a go. Um, you guys know that I'm really like so lazy like when when it comes to mixing concealers but to be honest this concealer is so good i might actually keep it and just you know use it up with other lighter concealers that i have but i would definitely say that i prefer the maybelline one it just wears so well and i used to, i've actually finished the nude one i had um like this this much left and i actually have to throw it away because it's a bit old now tiny one i didn't really use but this one is amazing and i actually like my my under eyes look flawless it just looks so nice, very soft, and it wears amazingly through the day. So I just wanted to compare these two drugstore concealers. They're so affordable, and I would definitely recommend both. The collection one is so affordable, 
and is amazing so yeah if you can find your shade definitely give it a go i do feel like they could do with more shades because even though they extended the shade range is still not enough like it's still a poor shade range to me like i think there's only like five to six shades that is not enough whilst the maybe leaning one i think it's the same thing i feel like they again they could do so much better with the shades I don't know why they're not but they're slightly they're kind of like slowly improving so hopefully in the future they have more shades and more like tones available to us so we have more of an option but I think caramel is like my perfect shade but the thing is I am more on the tan side so hopefully like when I do lose my tan a bit it, I can still wear it if not then that's just annoying so yeah they're both really good concealers but it's just the shade range that sucks so just being honest with you guys if you can find a shade definitely give them a go especially the collection one because that is only like 4 99 that is so affordable but the Maybelline one it just fit the applicators nice and it's just such a nice finish so I don't know I really really do like the Maybelline one before I go I just wanted to give you guys a quick close-up but anyways guys I'm gonna head off now I really hope you found this video helpful and if you want more review videos Give this video a big thumbs up. Love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.